Hey, yo, subscribe to the channel, LS57. Gotta feed the streets. It's, it's free. It's totally free. Totally free. No taxes, no nothing. All you have to do is go over, hit that sub button, and hit that bell to get the notifications. Spit a clip. LS57. Gotta feed the streets. Spit a clip. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know for a fact that haters just watching me right there. All right, so when we play NBA Live, what is the most important thing to you in a video game? It's all about the gameplay. Now, in NBA Live 18, I've been having some gameplay issues, and it's mainly with the AI. Now, the AI has to be tuned moving forward into NBA Live 19. I don't want his defender to be at the top of the key. I don't want my AI defenders to leave his man wide open. I want my AI defenders to make the right rotations. Let me let me just roll the tape so y'all can see what I'm talking about, all right? All right, so I want y'all to pay attention to Aaron Gordon, number 10. I'm, I'm CP3 as my user. The rotations was not there. Did y'all just see that? No rotation. This That was bad. That's bad AI decision making. Now, somewhere there has to be an intelligence with the AI because that right there was just just horrible check this out again in slow motion one more time you know what i'm saying now if you look at it you see him going for a rebound like why are you going for a rebound my guy why why look at the look at the three point look at the man oh my gosh oh my gosh the kind of rotation is so bad and look at the three on the right look at the wing the wing three on the right look at it pause it now i already switched my user to like cp3 and i'm pointing the arrow at the man wide open because gordon is going instead of rotating or switching he just goes for a rebound so either way either way this is a bad decision because you have a man at the right at the three-point line no matter how you look at it that was a bad decision for ai to make so this is one of the issues that i have with the ai that has to be fixed in my personal opinion from my gaming experience if you play the game again if you play the game you know that experience is the best teacher so that's the experience that i had all right now if you saw my last video i had pointed out how the post needed a lot of work now i'm kind of like a beast in the post now like like for real <laughs> like i'm a beast in the post and i noticed this something it's not necessarily that the post game needs work it needs more animations but it's about mastering all right so that's a good pass right there yeah it no suit for you my friend because he blocked me this is this is actual footage of an online game this is not me playing the CPU, this is online game, right? So I'm using actual online game footage for these examples, all right? Online game footage. All right, so, I, so before the NBA Live guys that I got on my channel think I'm trying to bash the game, I'm not. You feel me? I'm not. I'm just trying to make this better now. I like the defensive aspect of the game. The defense in the game is mwah, A1, far ahead of 2K, way ahead of 2K. The defense in AI, the defense... In NBA Live, excuse me, not the AI. The defense in NBA Live is ahead of the game the way I would say 2K's offense is ahead of the game. Take away the cheesers and stuff, all right? Take away the cheesers. Yeah, you feel me? So, and that's not a bad thing because NBA Live is just, like I said, it's a fun game to play. It's always been a fun game to play. Now, this is, the more you get into depth, the more you see things. So the more you play, the more experience you have, the more you see things. As I go and find my man white open for the green. All right, now in some cases, you find that a lot of people don't even play man ball. That means like user on user. A lot of people play off ball. And that could be real frustrating at times. As James Harden goes to the rack very strong. All right, so in Lob 19, I don't know how they would do this, but... If they could think of ideas, and if you guys could think of some ideas, pause the video and um, leave it in the comment section right now. What do you think can be done to um, make the off the off ball people that play off ball um, defense get like some type of penalty? I think that should happen. That should definitely happen. All right, that should definitely be a case and scenario or something. There's something that needs to be done for that. Like when I'm online and I'm playing off ball defenders. I cannot stand it. I can't stand it. It's, it's just horrible. I like user on user. You know, back in the days, that's how we played. But now a lot of people play off-ball defense and try to get in the lanes with the off-ball defender and just get the CPU to try to lock them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, they should have something that we could do offensively or something. You know what I'm saying? 
to the effect that that will actually help us out. So please, 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 let me know what you guys think in that comment section. Because the off-ball defense is my biggest pet peeve in a basketball video game. It goes back to 2K days when NBA Live took their break and we had to play 2K. Like, it, it, you just got to, like, man, man, the people in two, on the 2K side, they do that a lot. Off-ball defense like a mug. Some people know how to play defense. And with NBA Live, I don't feel that's the case because the defense on a scale of 1 to 10 is like an 8, 9 in NBA Live. Of course, nothing's perfect. But the defense is on point NBA Live. Like, the defense is, is superb in NBA Live. And one. But James Harden really does that in real life. He, he actually does that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he actually does that. And another pet peeve of mine in any basketball game, any sports video game, because we all competitive, right? So when you're online, how do you feel about people quitting? Quitting matches? Like, how do you feel that? Do you think the person that quits the game should be penalized like should he be banned for some time like online from online activities or do you think it's just up oh, he quit chalk it up to the game he's a quitter so they put a stain on your record like this guy quits a lot like they should have like an incomplete like if they show like a, a stat in the game like right here look the pressure was too much for him instead of making the right adjustments he just quits the game and that's basically my experience online. You know what I'm saying? But I'm LS57. Gotta feed these streets. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I'll see y'all next video. Peace. Hey, yo, subscribe to the channel, LS57. Gotta feed the streets. It's, it's free. It's totally free. Totally free. No taxes, no nothing. All you have to do is go over here, hit that sub button, and hit that bell to get the notifications. Spit a clip.